Welcome to Tally Help videos. In this video, you will understand how to use dashboard to gain desired information about your business. Dashboard provides you with a wide range of tiles, some of which are default in the dashboard, while you can add the other tiles as and when needed. It comes with a variety of other features such as the ability to configure a tile based on the kind of information you want. You can also expand a tile if you want to focus on its details. What's more, if you do not need a tile for the moment, you can remove it in a matter of clicks. To open the dashboard, press Alt plus G. Type or select dashboard and press enter. Let us first see how to add a tile to the dashboard. Consider that you have maintained cost centers for different zones in your business and want to view the top 5 cost centers or zones in which your company has made profit. Press Alt plus A. Type or select top cost centers and press enter. Select primary cost category and press enter. You can now view the top 5 cost centers. In a different scenario, as a business head, you might want to compare the gross profits of each branch in your business. Load companies created for the branches. Open the dashboard. Press Alt plus A. Select Company Wise Comparison Gross Profit. You can see the gross profits for the loaded companies. Similarly, you can add as many tiles as you want to. Press Alt plus A. Select the tile you want to add from the list of tiles. As you can see, you have got a range of tiles under accounting, inventory, bank slash cash and statutory. If you want to view the added tiles frequently, then you can save the view of the dashboard with the tiles added so that you do not have to add them time and again. To know how to use the save view feature, watch our video, how to save a view for a report in Tally Prime. Now, let's see how you can configure a tile based on the information you need. Consider that, as owner of the business, you want to check the expenses for a given period along with the other details in the trading details style. Move the cursor to the trading details style and press Alt plus C to configure the tile. Enable show direct expenses. Select the group for which you want to view the direct expenses and press enter. And then set show indirect expenses as yes. Select the group for which you want to view the indirect expenses and press enter. Press Ctrl plus A to save the configuration. You can now see the expenses in the trading detail style. After configuring a specific set of tiles, you can save the view of the dashboard for your immediate reference. Similarly, you can configure each tile as per your requirement. Move the cursor to the tile you want to configure and press Alt plus C. You can also expand a tile in the dashboard. While in a meeting or working with a colleague, you might want to zoom in or focus on a tile to view the data with better clarity. In such cases, you can expand or enlarge the tile. In the dashboard, select the tile you want to expand. For example, select Sales Trend. Now, press Alt plus V. The tile is expanded and you can focus on it. Now, let's see how to remove a tile from the dashboard. Consider that as a finance manager, you want to view only the accounting tiles and not the inventory tiles. Bring the cursor to an inventory tile that you do not want to view. 
Press Alt plus T to remove the tile. The tile gets removed. The best part is that, you can always add the tile back to the dashboard. Moreover, the tiles never get permanently removed from the dashboard unless you save the view of the dashboard with one or more tiles removed from it. As you saw, dashboard comes with a diverse range of features to help you gain the required information. Thank you. To know more about Tally Prime features, visit help.tallysolutions.com. Subscribe to the Tally Solutions channel for the latest videos.